Hi everybody, this is uh, Sean Holmes, new head soccer coach for men's soccer here at St. Cloud State University. I'm filming my quarantine video today uh, from the comfort of my car in the parking lot next to Husky Stadium, which still has the, uh, the dome, the bubble on top of it. Uh, I've spent the last uh, two days um, house hunting here in Greater St. Cloud. We've been all over the place. We have a great realtor and he's been helping us out and uh, we have been to big houses, little houses, north, south, east, west, all over the place. Um, my wife and I have been uh, all over the place. So that's been our biggest job. We sold our house back in uh, Des Moines, Iowa last week. So now it's uh, it's pretty real. We have to find a place to get to. Um, since uh, I got hired in February, we've done really two, two main jobs. Number one, uh, recruiting. Obviously we've got to put together a squad and uh, I found 30 guys, an interesting group of guys uh, with a huge Minnesota base. I think 23 of the 30 are from Minnesota. The rest are from the, uh, the upper Midwest. That was really one of my goals when I got here. I want us to be a Minnesota based team since we are the first and only Division II uh, or Division I school in the state to sponsor men's soccer. And then uh, job number two was putting together a schedule and uh, we're going to play a, a wide assortment this year before we join that conference in 21. We're going to play schools possibly from Division I, Division II, Division III, NEIA, a couple of club teams, and a couple of community colleges, JUCOs. So uh, it'll be interesting. We have a few more away games and home games the first year because it was so late. But but I'm, I'm excited by, uh, by the competition we've put together for our guys. And then uh, we've done all this while we've been quarantining the last couple of months. So... That's been, uh, I've been mostly uh, at my home in Des Moines, Iowa, on the phone, on my laptop, working to, to put together a group of guys. And uh, now we're working through the paperwork. We hope to, in the next couple of days, um, publicize some of our guys that we've, uh, we're bringing to campus. And um, some of them have Division One, Division Two, uh, JUCO experience. A lot of guys, you know, 12 freshmen coming out of high school. So day one, when we finally get on campus in August, will be... Unlike anything I've ever done, you know, literally we're going to put together uh, a group of guys in one day. Traditionally, you have sort of an established squad of guys, and uh, you add the new players. You you survive the graduation of, of the, the previous group, and then you add in new guys into the mix. <clears throat> in this situation, it's like everything is from scratch. Uh, I'm not sure what system we'll play, though I have an idea of how I'd like us to play. Uh, I certainly know that we'll try and play intelligent, entertaining soccer. Uh, but what the makeup of the squad will look like, who will play where, um, you know, your your guess is as good as mine. Uh, but it's been fun. We you know, we connect with the guys by Zoom and FaceTime and phone calls. And uh, we have a group chat where we kind of uh, circulate around ideas. So um, what's really energizing for me is that the guys have as much excitement as I do. Um, they know that this is an amazing you know, sort of a historic moment for them, uh, getting to start a program from scratch and, you know, to be the, the first team, uh, hopefully in a long, uh, proud, you know, uh, successful tradition. And then uh, what, what the, the next thing is sort of uh, that's been fun is just then the energy around the state. People are so, uh, there are a lot of proud uh, St. Cloud State alums that I've run into in the cities and in Brainerd and uh, you name it, Marshall, Duluth, all over the state where we've, we've been looking for guys. And uh, people are excited. Um, as you know, Minnesota United started the MLS a couple of years ago, and that's really helped the growth of soccer in the state. So we're, we're, we're you know, every day I'm energized to get up, find new guys, um, deal with, you know, 25 new emails from somewhere in the world for someone looking for an opportunity. And then uh, the rest of the day, I'm hammering out paperwork, getting guys to campus and finding them places to live and, you know, sorting through meal plans and all sort of the, uh, what I call the, the mundane parts of the job. But every time I get a text or a call from one of the guys, I get excited. And um, we, have, we have one or two guys who have already moved into town for the summer. Uh, but this, this has been different. But uh, there are two parts of it, really. You know, one, doing everything in such quick order has been challenging, doing it under the... Uh, uh, during the time of quarantine has been challenging, but you know, it's challenging for everyone. And uh, we're fortunate that we're blessed to have this opportunity and the guys understand that and I understand it. And, uh, you know, I think we'll, come August, we'll do something that uh, 
makes all Huskies proud everywhere. So I appreciate your support. Uh, everyone stay safe, look after yourself, um, you know, be kind to your neighbor. These are, these are different times. And uh, uh, I'm proud to be living in Minnesota now and to be at St. Cloud State. It's going to be awesome. Thanks very much. Talk to you all soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.